What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Today I filmed this primary color look. Um, it has yellow, blue, and I didn't incorporate red, but I have red on and my red sweatshirt. I did this look and then I posted it on my Instagram, so I'll link that down below so you can go check it out. I did it pretty much the same. The only thing different was my eyeliner was probably more dramatic, but... It's basically the same makeup that I just, um, I just redid for a video because I thought it'd be fun. So yeah, let's do it. I already did all my face, so I just thought I would do an eye look for this. I still haven't decided if I should do, um, if I should do both eyes or one eye. If I do both eyes, this video is going to be so long, so I might just do... I might just do one eye and then do the other eye off the camera. To prime my eyes, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape in Fair Neutral just for a base on the lid where we can put our shadows. And this enhances the... This will enhance the color of the shadows too. And then I'm just going to be blending out with my Real Technique sponge. I'm going to take the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, the original one, and just put that on top of the Tarte Shape Tape just to enhance the color. I'm just going to blend this out with my finger. I feel like the Tarte Shape Tape really like blurs out the veins in my eyes because I have a lot. I have veiny eyes and I'm very pale so they stand out. And then I feel like the... Urban Decay Primer really enhances the color of the shadow. Okay, for this little tutorial thing, I'm using a lot of different palettes, so just bear with me because I don't really have a lot of eyeshadow singles. I basically use um, different palettes. After that's blended out, I'm going to set the primer because it's really tacky right now. So I'm going to set it with a nude shadow. I'm just taking um, this one. I'm just taking this shadow. It's called Flower Child. This is the Tartlet in Bloom palette. So I'm just taking a fluffy brush and blending it all up in there. And I'm taking a lot on my brush, by the way, because I want it to be nice and even. So first, I have to cut out my crease because this is a cut crease so the very first step is to cut it out some people usually just blend shadow in their crease and then cut it out with concealer but I tried a certain way um, where you just take an angled brush and then you just cut it out and then blend upward. I'm going to be taking this um, it's called Urban Decay Perversion Angled Brush, and it's just, you can use any angled brush. With my cut crease shades, I like to keep it really neutral, and yeah. Just to kind of get the shape of the cut crease that I want, I'm going to be taking, back in the um, Tarte Linen Bloom palette, this one right here, it's called Smarty Pants. And I'm just going to take the little angled brush and dip it in Smarty Pants. This is just going to give us the outline of the cut crease. And then we'll go back in and make it darker. I'm going to take it a little bit higher than my natural crease. Just so you can see the shadow. So it's not, it doesn't dip into the crease. Start making that little outline. Okay, so you're... So I keep dipping into the Smarty Pants and then just drawing the line. And then you can kind of, I like to drag my shadow. So you can kind of see like the starting of the crease. A lot of people like dip it in and out, but since my my wings that I do are straight. I'm just going to make my cut crease dip in a little bit and then go to straight. And you can take it as far as you want. I don't really like to take it very far just because I I like to be natural and not look like a friggin... <laughs> I don't like to look like a crazy like 
drama queen. I don't know if that's what it's called. So once that's blended, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna use the um, Too Faced Natural Matte Eyeshadow Palette. And this, this is a really old palette. I've had this for a really long time. I'm gonna be taking the color Chocolate Cookie and I'm gonna go right over the, the line that we just drew. And I really want the shadow to be the darkest part right in this area right here. Not out here and not in, but just right in the middle. And I'm going to go back with my blending brush and blend all that in. For a little bit extra definition, I'm going to be taking in the Tartlet in Bloom palette. I'm going to take Activist and it's just a dark brown shadow. And just a tiny bit on the angle brush. And then just right, right in the center again. And I'm going to blend it in. The whole key, really, of a cut crease is to just blend. Oh, it's here, though. And then I'm just um, going to sharpen it up even more with the Tarte Shape Tape and this little concealer brush. This is from Luxie. 211 concealer brush and I'm just taking like I'm not even taking this wand out I'm just dipping it in the side and then just cutting it out just carving out the crease okay just like that now I'm just going to be using the Mica Beauty is it Mica or Mika? I don't know, but it's Mica Beauty Cosmetics. And I think I got it in the BoxyCharm a long time ago, and it's just a gel black eyeliner. And then I'm going to be taking this little um, Real Techniques liner brush. It's called Fine Liner Brush. Just like one line, and then... And then I'm just going to be dragging it. Clean this up with a concealer brush. Next, I'm going to be taking the Smashbox palette. This is a palette that I got in my haul. And um, this cut crease was the first look I did with it. So... I'm going to be taking this color Bolt and it's going to go right underneath the crease that we made. For that I'm going to be taking this concealer brush that I used before and just dipping it right into the shadow. And it's really pigmented and bright so that's good. Just taking um, this blending brush and kind of blending it down. Next I'm just going to um, curl my lashes and then and then um, for the look in the photo I did wear lashes and these ones are Bador by House of Lashes. And they're one of my favorite lashes, or the favorite style. I love House of Lashes, but that Bador is probably my favorite style. And I want to try, I know they came out with, um, like, like, iconic light and whatever light. I don't know. They're not supposed to be as fluffy because these are pretty fluffy, but, um, I want to try those sometime. So I'm just taking my dual lash glue and just um, putting glue on these lashes. For the lower lash line, I'm also going to use the Smashbox, um, Smashbox Cover Shot Bold Eye Palette. And for the bottom lash line, I'm just going to be taking this blue shadow. It's called Poolside. I'm going to be taking this little, it's a shading brush 
or yep that's what it is it's a shading brush by real techniques and just taking the same color pull side and going right underneath the lower lash line this lash like you'll see when I'm done with the other my other eye but for some reason this lash is like really like all the way up to the heavens like well <laughs> to finish the bottom or to finish the lower lash line I'm gonna be taking the moon dust urban decay moon dust palette uh, here it is and I'm just gonna be taking here put that down I'm gonna be taking um, this blue shade, it's called Vega, and I'm going to put that in my lower lash line. I'm going to be focusing this, um, on the outer portion of my lower lash line. And I'm going to be taking, this is another one of my newer palettes that I just got. It's the Tarte, um, Make Believe in Yourself Eye and Cheek Palette. And... I'm going to be, I use the shade um, Mystic, it's um, this one right here, it's Mystic, it's just like a lighter bluer shade, it's a lighter frosty blue shade, and then um, just on my finger, I'm just going to be taking, oh, that, <laughs> I'm just going to be taking a little bit of it and putting it right under my lower lash line, but focusing this kind of in the middle of the lower lash line. Oh, hell no. So then in the inner quarter, in the inner quarter, in the inner corner, I'm going to be taking this middle shade. It doesn't have a name, but it's the middle highlighting shade. And just on my finger again and just pu putting that right in my inner corner. This is so hard to do bottom mascara. back into that Tarlet and Bloom palette and just taking it's like a really it's like a whitish cream color it's called Charmer and I can't do this it's that color right there and taking my pinky and just buffing it right in with the other shadow right underneath my eyebrow so it kind of gives like a little highlight I'll just do it again so it kind of like diffuses and gives a little bit of a highlight underneath the brow. I probably look so crazy right now, but I'm going to go ahead and do this eye and I'll be right back. BRB. Alright, I'm back now. Okay, so I'm all done. I'm all done with the eyes. So now on to the lips. For the lips, I'm just going to be... um using the ColourPop lippy stick thing the ColourPop lippy pencil in skimpy and just lining my lips holy nuts what so I'm just gonna be lining my lips and then filling it in with Milani um, 61 or it's like this is like a it's Milani it's like a matte lipstick in number 61. Matte naked. <laughs> what? Okay. Let's do it. I'm not even in the frame, host. That basically completes this yellow cut crease look. Um, I'll put all the products down below so you can go check those out and I'll also post my Instagram below so you can check the photo out of this of this look the original photo of this look that I did so yeah um, make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave and I'll see you in my next vid later <laughs> I'm out of here